All right, you guys, what is up? It's me. This video needs to be made or it never will. <laughs> um, I've just checked in for my international flight. I'm sitting here in Auckland International Airport. First time I've been here, believe it or not. And uh, well, what a time it is to, to, to be here for a very first time. It is like a ghost town. There is literally nobody here. Well, I mean, that's a lie. But I'm led to believe there's 35 people on my flight from Auckland to Sydney. So this morning I travelled from Christchurch to Auckland. Uh, it was a, an hour and a hour and 20 minutes flight. Um, everything went pretty well. I'm feeling very, very anxious. Uh, too anxious to even make a video in Christchurch. Far too anxious. All I wanted to do was get on that plane. I've been waiting for this for months. And it's finally happening. So in probably, I'm going to say about six hours, I will be landing in Australia for the first time in 12 months. I'm extremely excited. You guys know the reasons I'm going. This video is going to be titled Auckland to Sydney. And that's exactly what it is. So here, as you can see, is Auckland International Airport. If you want to know exactly where I'm going to walk, it's through that gate right there. So here we are, February the 11th. Is it? No, it's not. It's February the 12th, <laughs> 2021. And I am about 36 hours away from seeing my two kids for the first time in 12 months. So wish me luck. I've brought my gear with me. I have my YouTube gear. I decided to bring it with me. I did bring a computer. I did bring a microphone. I did bring my cameras. I did even bring my cam card, which means that I can use my DSLR camera whilst doing live streams. So as soon as everything settles down, as soon as I know what's going on, as soon as I've seen my kids, and as soon as I've been that present dad that I've wanted to be for so many months, I will get my gear back out and I'll continue to make videos. But until then, like I said, wish me luck. Like the video if you have enjoyed the content lately. And I will see you in Sydney. So peace out. Right guys, what's up? <laughs> Shut that for a second. Have we got some lights? Let's have a look. Yes we do. Guys, I've literally been in this room for about a minute. We're finally here, we're here in Sydney. Two flights today. The first one was to Auckland. You guys saw me, the last time you saw me was in Auckland Airport. And I tell you what, it didn't get any busier than what you saw. In fact, I wanted to show you guys exactly what it's like traveling internationally through COVID. Um, from New Zealand to Australia within our travel bubble. I didn't bring the camera out, but I can explain it to you. There was absolutely nothing open and nobody around. So, here we are. I'm in Sydney. Oh God, it's freaking hot. It is hot here. And it's probably only a taste of what I'm gonna deal with in Rockhampton. So guys, I will most likely bring the camera out later on this evening. I did just wanna check in. It is 5.30 in the evening, Sydney. Oh my God, okay. Let's try that again. I ran out of battery. Thank God. My heart was in my mouth there for a second because I thought I didn't bring my second battery, but I did. And is this going to focus? I think it has. Okay. We're here in Sydney. Thank the Lord. We're in Australia. And believe it or not, it's the first time I've been in Australia for almost a year. Not quite. Not quite a year. So what that means is it's almost been a year since I last saw my kids. And in... 36 hours time from now, I will be seeing them for the first time in, in almost a year. Um, and I, I, I simply can't wait. So I, I'm feeling really, i tell you what, as soon as I got into this room, as soon as I got my shit here, I mean, I've, I've brought everything I wanted to bring. You know what I mean? I've, I haven't left anything behind. I've brought, I've brought everything I need for a good life in Rockhampton. And so here we are. I'm staying here in my, my budget accommodation for the night. I've done this many, many times before. I've brought my camera along for the ride many, many times before. But this one's different. 
this is this means a lot this this trip means the most out of any trip I've ever done um, any other trip that I've done is about me just me not thinking about anyone else now I've got two other ones to think about I have responsibilities it's time to become a man it's time to become a man and I've said that multiple times and I, I feel that's true I feel like I've been living been living like a like an immature little teenager you know what I mean with no responsibilities or no real res okay I've got responsibilities but they're only responsibilities that I hold myself accountable to you know what I mean no one else is holding me accountable to them I don't have dependents that I have to that, that rely on me but now I do so with all that combined you know fuck what a year it's been what a year it's been in Christchurch but what you know what a few months I'm, I'm about to have and I just can't wait I am feeling anxious, I'm feeling nervous, I am feeling excited, I am feeling the tiniest amount of regret, and as you guys know I don't like living with regret, but at the moment I'm feeling the tiniest amount of regret because, <laughs> stupidly, because I had a whole list of things, or a whole list of videos, okay? Put it this way, I had a whole list of YouTube videos that I wanted to create before I left New Zealand. I didn't get those done. In fact, the last week, today's Friday, for the last week, ever since Monday, the Super Bowl was Monday, I did a five hour live stream. It was fucking incredible. Absolutely loved it. But literally, the moment after shutting that, that, that camera off, that live stream, I honestly went into some form of, of depression. I'm not gonna lie, it was almost like, holy shit, Oh, you know, that's over. The NFL season's over. This live stream of the Super Bowl that I've been looking forward to for the last two weeks is over. It went really well. You'd think I'd be happy. But in a funny kind of way, I was sad because it was all over. And without a goal, without a challenge, without something to work towards, I am nothing. I am not... I don't know who I am without a goal to work towards. So one thing I am going to really work on around my kids is to be someone, be a dad who can be present. I've said that before and I'll say it again. That is what I'm going to be working on the, the, the most, is to be as present of a, a parent as I can. And what that requires is to not always be focusing, not only on myself, which I am doing clearly by having all these goals and stuff, but, but yeah, just, just drawing a line in the sand, saying, okay, I'm, I'm happy with what I've achieved. I'm happy with, with the way that 2020 went. And arrive in Rockhampton on Sunday morning without having to look at my phone all the time, without having to check how this last video went, without having to make these thumbnails without having to get back to these people through email or, or, or Instagram message. You know, there's always something. There is, there is always something. But that is how I flourish. That is how I, I live my life. That is how I thrive. But everyone needs a bit of balance. So that's what I'm going to be working towards. Anyway, I've probably just talked your ears off, talking absolute rubbish for the last five minutes. Um, there ain't much to this room. In fact, there ain't, there ain't much at all. But that's all I needed. I've got a TV, I've got a bed, I've got a window, and I've got my sanity. And that, my friends, is a win. <laughs> so uh, I'm not going to show you the bathroom, there's really nothing to, um, to see. It's pretty fucking small. If anyone was wondering, I paid $90 a night for this. It is 400 metres away from the domestic terminal, and so I will be able to walk over there tomorrow morning, bright and early ready to head to Queensland, Brisbane, and then onto a bus. Now, the bus trip, I'm not really going to think about it too much until it actually happens. It's a 12-hour bus trip. I've done a 15-hour bus trip before. No, in fact, I've done a 20-hour bus trip from Alice Springs to Adelaide in 2011. This is the first time in almost 10 years that I'll be catching a Greyhound bus. It's not going to be quite that long, but it is going to be lengthy. We're going from Brisbane to Rockhampton. I leave Brisbane at 2pm tomorrow afternoon. I arrive in Rockhampton at 2am Sunday morning. So I don't think I'll be seeing my kids as soon as I get there, but I'll have to wait. I'll have to get a bit of kip, a bit of sleep, wake up the next morning and go and see them. So 
By all means, come along for the ride, and uh, with that being said, I will see you in the next one. I won't talk to you guys again tonight. I think that's enough. This video was titled Auckland to Sydney, and we are indeed in Sydney. I am indeed feeling stoked about it, and I hope you do too. It's bloody hot in here. I am sweating. I gotta take this hoodie off. We ain't in New Zealand anymore, Dorothy. No, we're not. Anyways, I'll catch you later. Peace out.